I've been had two dreams about this man, and I'm just like, ugh. Like, none of these niggas is just, none of these niggas have the characteristics of him that I particularly want. This shit right here might have said someone. Right. This is my transgender life. What's up, you guys? I am not even going to lie to you. I am having a morning. I'm having a cup of wine. I would say a glass of wine, but I forgot to gla grab a glass. I don't know why I grabbed the paper cup. I'm just really... And this is raw, so... And I'm just being very, very honest with you guys, okay? I need you guys to catch up, okay? And I'm about to be very honest with you guys. What? I'm all open. I'm definitely open because I am telling y'all this. So I'm open to, you know, bad thoughts and things like that and opinions that I know you guys probably gonna say. So I already told it to myself. So, you know, like I said, I am opening that door. But I just have to let this out. And I was thinking to myself, because I literally was getting emotional because it's just so many things, right? But I was getting emotional just at the thought of the things that's literally just running through my mind. Long story short, I just cut off ties with a guy this morning that I've been dealing with for I really wanna say, I really wanna say a year. And this nigga, like first of all, I had to cut him off because I just don't feel like the shit has been genuine. You know? Like I just don't I just don't feel like shit has been genuine on his end. If you supposed to be like my piece, like of your piece or whatever, we're not in a relationship of course. I didn't want to go into the backstory of this particular person until later down the line in further episodes of this series, but long story short, I started messing with this person um, he had hit me up, like, a year and some change ago. That's why I said we've been definitely dealing with each other for, like, over a year and a half, right? Well, I'm in communication. At the start, it was in communication because, you know, I was dating my ex. We dated for a year, but then we had took a break because he did some wild shit. So, which we'll talk about later down the line. But, you know, we had took a break for a month. Yes, bitch, I know, a month. This is when I was living in Atlanta. We took a break or whatever, and then I ended up coming here or whatever um, to visit. I don't know what, because normally I came here to visit for holidays, and here's Virginia. If you guys don't know, yes, I live in Virginia, because a lot of people keep asking me that. But yes, I do live in Virginia now. We're going to name him Blueface. So, this person, well, Blueface. So, Blueface basically. He had hit me up or whatever, because we grew, we grew up around each other. We go to the same school. We used to live in the same neighborhood or whatever, right? So, I already knew of him. Like, I already had history with him. Like, he literally used to live across the street from me, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, bitch, I know this person. Like, know his family. Like, hold on yards. Been over his house. Hold on yards, right? So, he had hit me up or whatever. And he was like, you know, asking how I've been and, you know, Woody woo say you wanna fuck with me, but I'm like, you know, at the time I really um didn't entertain him. I actually didn't entertain him at all. After that I just kinda left it what it was because I was dating my ex. And y'all know bitch, I'm faithful, faithful cookie bitch, okay? When I'm in a relationship, once it's established that we're in a relationship, bitch, I am faithful as a motherfucker. Even the gang is even if we're just talking, I'm faithful as hell. I have to break out of that. Yeah, so, um, anyway, so once we had to our break or whatever, I had, I came here or whatever, and he ended up hitting me up, because he seen that I was here, and, you know, we ended up linking or whatever, and, and yeah, I did give him, I definitely gave up the poopoo to him, so, yeah, anyway, girl, so I gave up the poopoo to him or whatever, and, you know, that was just kind of that, and I already told him, like, baby, like, I don't really be out here like that, you know, fucking around with people and stuff like that, because people get whipped over this good punani available. It's not even that, it's just like my aura alone, like, bitch is gonna have you whipped, bitch. One night is gonna turn into five years. You know, we had like the whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then after that, honestly, bitch, I'm not gonna lie. We actually, you know, he would hit me up saying, like, you know, he missed me and all this other stuff. 
blah blah blah. I don't think child, how do you even miss me? <laughs> what do you miss? So this is the thing. He didn't even tell me that he had a girlfriend. That's what I'm telling y'all now because it's about to add up. So he didn't even tell me he had a girlfriend, right? In the beginning. No, actually, I take that back. I, he did tell me he had a girlfriend. And then, you know, we linked up that one time. And this person, I thought that was just going to be it. But he kept hitting me up, like, for months. But of course, I was paying him the way. First time he messaged me was two years ago. It's funny because, like, when... When I started dealing with him, that was actually literally the f a month after me and my ex started messing with each other. Like, that's that's the funny thing. That's the ironic part. So, like, you know, we, that was fresh. So, I definitely, you know, was not hardcore entertaining him, blah, 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 or whatever. Bitch. So, wow, bitch, it's been two years. I said, bitch, it wasn't nothing, like, you know, hardcore. Like, he was just hitting me up here and there, child. I was like, so I just kind of was you know, man, because I was dealing with my ex or whatever. And like I said, bitch, we took our break, whoop, whoop, blah, blah, blah. So now we're here, bitch. We'll get into those details later in the further episodes, okay? Because, bitch, some shit has definitely transpired. Long story short, when I moved back here, I didn't even know he he ended up telling me he had a girlfriend. Like, again, so at this point, bitch, you still was dealing with the same person, right? So... Mind y'all, this boy was telling me to pull up at his house and everything. Like, bitch, I know where he live at and, well, he live at and everything, bitch. Like, pull up to his house and everything, y'all. Like, and it was just so crazy, like, you know, once I moved here. And it was just so crazy because I ended up finding out that he had a girlfriend, which I'm guessing was, I don't know for sure, but I, I'm just guessing it's the same girl that he had told me he had, you know, when we first initially met two years ago. So, fast forward to this year, I ended up noticing he was, like, kind of acting weird, right? Like, or whatever. And I'm just like, why is this nigga acting weird? Like, girls, y'all know how niggas be when they be having a bitch. Like, if a nigga got a bitch, you gon' know. So, at this point, like, you, you know, of course, like, we've been talking and stuff like that. I, I left my ex a, a year ago. So, you know, after I left my ex, which I really started talking to him, you know, more frequently... And, um, so, I'm just like, boy, like, you talk to all this and all that, like, of course not on no, like, bitch, I, I don't know, I just never cared if, like, I wanted a relationship, relationship with him right then and there, um, but I definitely feel like, bitch, if we're gonna be fucking around, bitch, it's only me, <laughs> like, why do you think that you're gonna fuck around with other people and you have me, what's your need? What? Why? Why? Why do you need to do that? You have to be Y'all, this nigga had ended up telling me that she had a girlfriend. I said, bitch, what? Bitch, so what? And this is after the first time. So we, of course, we ended up, you know, doing the, the woohoo again, bitch. Like, once I got here, bitch, we ended up doing the woohoo again. But we definitely woohooed prior to that because he used to fly so little bit. Anyway, but that's what's pissing me off, too, because it's like you just uh, do all this stuff and then why would you tell me after we fucked you know once I got here like why would you tell me that you had a whole bitch like why would you now are you telling me that you had a whole bitch and that pissed me the fuck off and I stopped talking to him because bitch now you're literally trying to like you know fuck with me like you're trying to you know deal with me as you perceive to be solely but whole time you got a bitch they gonna tell me that he don't want me fucking around with nobody else and this is my thing I'm not into talking to multiple people at the same time, okay? Because, bitch, once one person has my attention, bitch, that's it. Like, that's enough for me. Because I'm not about to be arguing with multiple niggas every single day. I'm not one of them girls who just do stuff like that. But, yeah, anyway, so, yeah, child. So, long story short, they broke up or whatever a few months ago. Him and a girl. And, of course, like, he started trying to beat down my back even harder, like, three times harder. He was already beating down my back. Fuck with me harder and harder and harder. And I kept telling him, during that time, you have a whole girlfriend. I would never in my life want another bitch to do with basically potentially what I could do to her, to me. Like, I just personally would not want that. Like, I always put myself in other girls' shoes before I'm just like, oh, bitch, well, you know, I don't owe that bitch to a little seat, even though I don't. But still, it's just like, I wouldn't want nobody, you know, fucking around with my man. So why the fuck would I be fucking around with her man? You know, so I'm just that type of person. And 
that's what kind of was ruining like us in general. Um, cause like, bitch, I would just speak on it, like, no. And it's like, honestly, even now that, you know, they broke up, whatever, it's like, bitch, I'm, first of all, I'm not, no, no rebound, of course, that we already had that conversation. The heal. Like, I keep telling that nigga, like, bitch, you need to heal, like, y'all went through, like, pretty shit. And I also feel like, honestly, unfortunately, at a certain point, I did play a part in it because for once she caught him looking through my phone, I mean, looking, she was looking through his phone, caught my, you know, a text or whatever. And, um, but she could never find out, I'm guessing, who it was. Cause girls, if you know, you know how to find out who the fuck a bitch, who, like, who texting your phone or your man's phone, bitch, you know. Um, and, so she never found out who I was. Cause bitch, if she found out who I was, bitch, I'm pretty sure it would have been some shit on, like, on the internet, boo. I have to explain that to him as well, like, you know, bitch, you trying to text me and all this other stuff, like, bitch, it takes one time for you to slip up and, like, she see who I am. Like, she finds out who I am, bitch, and now I'm telling you, like, I know how, you know, biological women operate, bitch, they find out you mess with a trans woman, bitch, it's over, like, it's over for you, bitch, they gonna tell the world, like, I've done some shit for him, like, no shade, I've definitely done, done some shit for him, and I just feel like, you know, now that... Now that he is in this space of where, you know, he's over that relationship or whatever, and he's in a good space, it's like, bitch, you got this nonchalant ass attitude towards me. I'm guessing any time I speak on something, I'm the type of bitch, I'm going to speak on something. Like, I'm a cancer, so, I, bitch, I'm sorry, my emotions run through me. Like, I feel other people and I feel myself, you know? And it's like, bitch, if I feel like you hurt my feelings, bitch, I'm going to tell you, like, what's bothering me. I'm not gonna hard like borderline it, you know. So he was trying to spend the night over here or whatever at my house, y'all. And bitch I be telling him no. Like here I'm just like no, like no, you need to heal. Like yeah, I thought it just, just doesn't seem genuine. It just feels like oh you got out of that situation now you can fully fuck with me as his, as he said. And it's like now like you just like I don't know. It's just not clicking to me. It's not genuine. It's not like I'm just not feeling like, bitch, I'm not feeling love. And also, this nigga been telling me he loved me for the last five months. Literally. And I just don't feel, I don't, it's the, how the fuck do you feel? How do you say that you love me and you, I just don't feel it. I don't feel it. I don't feel it at all. And that's the problem. <laughs> it's not in how you act, act, act. No, I don't feel it at all. And that's just the disconnect. I've been trying to date, I really have, you know, the last few months, and, like, I've been actively, like, pursuing dating, and it's just, like, I'm just not, like, y'all niggas just don't do it for me. Like, y'all niggas do not do it for me. Like, what is going on with the men of, of this era? Like, y'all niggas don't want nothing more out of life. Y'all niggas got kids, and, like... Then that's the whole fucking secret life. And one thing about me, bitch, I'm nobody's secret. I live a very private life, but I'm nobody's secret. Okay? That space of where accepting the bottom of the barrel shit. I've been missing my ex. I've been having a drink. I've been had two drinks about this man. Um, I had one last night about him. And I'm just like, ugh. It's like none of these niggas is just... None of these niggas have the characteristics of him that I particularly want. And it just sucks that like, you felt like you met your person, but like... They just wasn't, and they definitely was just not at the level that you needed them to be. And also have to bite the bite the bullet of maybe maybe you was the perfect person for me, which I feel like that's the case. He was the per he was the per perfect person for me, but clearly not if he's not here, right? In person at the same time. Um, but maybe I just wasn't the perfect person for you. And also, it's like, maybe you, maybe I, I loved what you came with, but after realizing that, it, it tainted me even more um, of who I am and what you wasn't trying to achieve. Like, you know, my biggest thing with people is like, don't say that, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that. And it's like, do you really want to? Because you're not, I'm trying to help you pursue Blase, 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 and get you ahead, but you're doing things that's gonna make you move backward. That's just the space I've been in. That's literally just my trans day to life. My trans day to life is fucking insane, you guys. And 
I know y'all enjoyed these videos, and now I really do enjoy, you know, talking to you guys. This is literally a diary, okay? So that's why I tell y'all, sometimes we shouldn't be dogged up, sometimes I ain't gonna be dogged up. Yeah, I got the new iPhone 15, y'all. You know who this? Yeah, so I'm just, I'm just, ugh. I really, I really do want love. I want a love that is so unconditional. I want a love that is forgiving. I want a love that is universal and extraterrestrial. Bitch, I want a love that's out of this world. I want a love that I feel the love. And I feel more love than self-doubt. I want to feel a love that is boundless. I want to feel a love that is fulfilling and successful um, and enraging and, and vivid. I want a love that is eccentric. I want a love that is phenomenal. I want a love that I can voice about and be excited about. I want a love so deep that it's loud. You can see us and see how madly in love that we are with each other. I want a love that I can share to the world at my given points. I want a love that I could go on lunch dates with my mom and my family and take my person to family events and for the world with, you know. I want a love. I want that 90s type of love, you know, where we thoroughly get to know each other and you remember the small things about me and you act on those small things. I want a love that's surreal, love that feels good. I want to love. For real, y'all. I do. I'm going to go. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Um, I love y'all so much. And thank you guys for watching and tuning in and listening to me. Um, yeah. Love y'all.